I look gorgeous. What are you doing here, Nigel? Partaking of the arts. Care of the soul. Listen, I happen to hear about old Vix's spectacular and horrible passing. I came back to pay my respects. How could you have heard? It only just happened. Now you know me. Always an ear to the ground when it comes to the disposition of my darling Gabby. Who's this then? Who are you? I'm Nigel. Who the fuck are you? Charlie? Who the fuck is Charlie, Gabby? Charlie is an American. Tuba player. Here to observe the company. He is homosexual. Is he now? Must make you quite the star cocksucker around here, huh, Charlie? Nigel, what do you want? Charlie, he should leave. Charlie, you should stay. Definitely. As you know, darling, Victor and I had some unfinished business between us. What are you talking about? My father hated you. How do you guys know each other? Nigel was my husband. I beg your pardon, Gabby. Did you say was? Honestly, fucking was. Gabby. No, Charlie, not fucking was. Fucking is. Fucking meaning I currently fucking am to death at the most fucking part. You? <laughs> if it isn't the shrieking cunt himself. Oh, Bella. You'll go immediately or I will call the police. Go! Gabby, darling, we do need to have a catch up rather soon, say sometimes within the next 24 hours. Bella, nice meeting you again. Charlie, I'll catch you later. Hello, Charlie. Are you in the zone of the individuality also? Sure. Sure, why not? Okay. Listen, I'm glad we bumped into each other like this. I want to apologize for my behavior. Ah, uh, you the fucking love, Charlie. The fucking love. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, sure. Turns me somewhat insane if I'm being honest with you. Can I be that? Be honest with you. Yeah. Regardless, I do apologize. But I didn't even wash my hands. <laughs> What's a little piss among friends, huh? Oh. My Charlie. Enjoy your new mates and uh, your recreational drugs and the rest of it while you can. God knows it can all turn into blood in the blink of an eye. this before. Okay. How can I put this? Can you do that Dizzy Gillespie thing with your cheeks? You know why he goes all puffy fish like? Being the champion tube race hawk sucker you're reputed to be. Who's a trumpet player? Come on, Johnny. Go on. Yeah. 
Besides, that's not the most woeful bit of puffy fishery I ever did see. You know, it occurs to me, Charlie, that maybe you're not a tuber. Maybe you're not even an actual faggot. But maybe the truth of it is that you got this sign from my wife. What do you think, Gabby? Huh? You were meant to ring me, darling. You're meant to leave, Nigel. No. The ass of an angel. The brain of a man, the aim of Penny Oakley, huh? Ever the total package, my Gabby is. Let's say I give you till tomorrow to seek me out, but that's the best I can do. Agreed? Whoa. Guess I'm off then, Charlie. Well, we'll get a funny face out of you yet, right? What I did not know was that above the cafe, there was a small flat. And in this flat was Nigel. And he listened to my playing as he struggled with his injuries. And every day he would hear me. And every day he would become stronger. One day, he approached me and he said, my playing saved his life. And he was the most beautiful man I had ever seen. With his scars and eyes. It's like some kind of wounded animal. I had no idea who he was or what he did. All I knew was that he said my playing saved his life. And I learned a lot from Nigel. You know, things I otherwise would not have learned. But over time, I learned what he was. By then, it was too late. What brings you here, Charlie? Looking a bit peaked, Charlie, boy. Everything all right? Nothing amiss, is it? I thought you were coming back. I thought you were coming oh, back. Whoa, whoa, what? What? You thought what? That a runty cunt such as you I ever stood a chance? Come on, son. This is reality when you don't fucking register. I register fine, you greasy fuck. What's this now? Suddenly found the hot man within ourselves, Charlie, haven't we? Charlie, get out of here. Let's listen to her. The clock's ticking on my benevolence. I saw the tape. Tape, Charlie. You know a tape. Gabby, darling, you just finished telling me you had no idea about any of this. Because I have no fucking idea what Charlie is talking about. What you left home to find, huh? Nigel. Your head in a plastic bag, choking on your own fucking god. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not you, fucker. Nigel, stop! Charlie's in charge. Charlie's in time. I got it, Joey. The only explanation for the kind of behavior you're exhibiting is that. Are you in love? Uh, are you in love, Charlie? Please, please. Gabby, Charlie's in love. Any idea who will? Well, something tells me his name is not Kevin or Philip or fucking Andre. It's a she, fucker. Okay, let's put a pin in the fucking love story for now, shall we? I'd like to get back to my primary agenda item. Where's the tape? Her name's Gabby. No, it's so Nigel, I told you he means nothing to me, okay? Last chance of petrol, boy. The tape. Only four. Only four. <sighs> Welcome to Limbo, Charlie. Oh. Don't get too comfortable. It's not your final destination. I'll be along soon enough to hasten you there.
sure Doc understood? We met. We destroyed the tech. Life goes on. Charlie! You said everything I said to you was in your heart. What? Everything. I know that means something. They say, Charlie, better to have loved and lost and all that. Oh, Shut the Charlie for love. Take your coaches. 